The Cucuteni Tripolia culture Romanian, Cultura Cucuteni and Ukrainian, Tripolska cultura also known as the Tripoli culture Russian, Tripolska cultura is a Neolithic Enneolithic archaeological culture c. 5200 to 3500 BC of Eastern Europe. It extended from the Carpathian Mountains to the Dniester and Dnieper regions, centered on modern-day Moldova and covering substantial parts of western Ukraine and northeastern Romania, encompassing an area of 350,000 square kilometers (140,000 square miles) with a diameter of 500 kilometers (300 miles), roughly from Kiev in the northeast to Brasov in the southwest. The majority of Cucuteni Tripolia settlements consisted of high-density small settlements spaced 3 to 4 kilometers apart concentrated mainly in the Siret, Prut and Dniester river valleys. During the Middle Tripolia phase c. 4000 to 3500 BC, populations belonging to the Cucuteni Tripolia culture built the largest settlements in Neolithic Europe, some of which contained as many as 3000 structures and were possibly inhabited by 20000 to 46000 people. One of the most notable aspects of this culture was the periodic destruction of settlements, with each single habitation site having a lifetime of roughly 60 to 80 years. The purpose of burning these settlements is a subject of debate among scholars. Some of the settlements were reconstructed several times on top of earlier habitational levels, preserving the shape and the orientation of the older buildings. One particular location, the Padori site in Romania, revealed 13 habitation levels that were constructed on top of each other over many years. Topic: <laughs> Nomenclature The culture was initially named after the village of Cucuteni in Iasi County, Romania. In 1884, Teodor T. Burada, after having seen ceramic fragments in the gravel used to maintain the road from Targu Frumos to Iasi, investigated the quarry in Cucuteni from where the material was mined, where he found fragments of pottery and terracotta figurines. Burada and other scholars from Iasi, including the poet Nicolae Beldisianu and archaeologists Grigor Bucharanu, Dimitri C. Butchilescu and George Diamandi, subsequently began the first excavations at Cucuteni in the spring of 1885. Their findings were published in 1885 and 1889, and presented in two international conferences in 1889, both in Paris, at the International Union for Prehistoric and Protohistoric Sciences by Bucharanu and at a meeting of the Society of Anthropology of Paris by Diamandi. At the same time, the first Ukrainian sites ascribed to the culture were discovered by Vikanti Kavoyka, a Czech born Ukrainian archaeologist, in Kiev at Karilovska Street 55. The year of his discoveries has been variously claimed as 1893, 1896 and 1887. Subsequently, Shavoka presented his findings at the 11th Congress of Archaeologists in 1897, which is considered the official date of the discovery of the Tripolia culture in Ukraine. In the same year, similar artifacts were excavated in the village of Tripolia Ukrainian, Trip -i -ya, in Kiev Oblast, Ukraine. As a result, this culture became identified in Ukrainian publications and later in Soviet Russia, as the Tripoli or Tripoli, from Russian Tripol, Tripolian or Tripolia culture. Today, the finds from both Romania and Ukraine, as well as those from Moldova, are recognized as belonging to the same cultural complex. It is generally called the Cucuteni culture in Romania and the Tripolia culture in Ukraine. In English, Cucuteni Tripoli culture is most commonly used to refer to the whole culture, with the Ukrainian-derived term, Kukuteni Tripolia culture, gaining currency following the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Geography <inaudible> 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 The Cucuteni Tripolia culture flourished in the territory of what is now Moldova, northeastern Romania and parts of western, central and southern Ukraine. The culture thus extended northeast from the Danube River basin around the Iron Gates to the Black Sea and the Dnieper. It encompassed the central Carpathian Mountains as well as the plains, steppe and forest steppe on either side of the range. Its historical core lay around the middle to Upper Dniester the Podolian upland. During the Atlantic and suboreal climatic periods in which the culture flourished, Europe was at its warmest and moistest since the end of the last ice age, creating favorable conditions for agriculture in this region. As of 2003, about 3,000 cultural sites have been identified, ranging from small villages to vast settlements consisting of hundreds of dwellings surrounded by multiple ditches. 
Topic Chronology Topic Periodization Traditionally separate schemes of periodization have been used for the Ukrainian Tripolia and Romanian Kukuteni variants of the culture. The Kukuteni scheme, proposed by the German archaeologist Hubert Schmidt in 1932, distinguished three cultures, pre-Kukuteni, Kukuteni and Horodistea Foltesti, which were further divided into phases pre-Kukuteni I-3 and Kukuteni A and B. The Ukrainian scheme was first developed by Tatyana Sergeyevna Pasik in 1949 and divided the Tripolia culture into three main phases A, B and C with further sub-phases by 2 and C2. Initially based on informal ceramic seriation, both schemes have been extended and revised since first proposed, incorporating new data and formalized mathematical techniques for artifact seriation. The Kukuteni Tripolia culture is commonly divided into an early, middle, late period, with varying smaller subdivisions marked by changes in settlement and material culture. A key point of contention lies in how these phases correspond to radiocarbon data. The following chart represents this most current interpretation. Topic. Early period 4000 BC. The roots of Kukuteni Tripolia culture can be found in the Starcevo Koros Chris and Vinca cultures of the 6th to 5th millennia, with additional influence from the Bug Dniester culture. BC. During the early period of its existence in the 5th millennium BC, the Kukuteni Tripolia culture was also influenced by the linear pottery culture from the north, and by the Boyan Julesti culture from the south. Through colonization and acculturation from these other cultures, the formative pre-Kukuteni, Tripolia A culture was established. Over the course of the 5th millennium, the Kukuteni Tripolia culture expanded from its homeland in the Prutsirat region along the eastern foothills of the Carpathian Mountains into the basins and plains of the Dnieper and southern Bug rivers of central Ukraine. Settlements also developed in the southeastern stretches of the Carpathian Mountains, with the materials known locally as the Ariusdi culture see also, prehistory of Transylvania. Most of the settlements were located close to rivers, with fewer settlements located on the plateaus. Most early dwellings took the form of pit houses, though they were accompanied by an ever-increasing incidence of above-ground clay houses. The floors and hearths of these structures were made of clay, and the walls of clay plastered wood or reeds. Roofing was made of thatched straw or reeds. The inhabitants were involved with animal husbandry, agriculture, fishing and gathering. Wheat, rye and peas were grown. Tools included plows made of antlers, stone, bone and sharpened sticks. The harvest was collected with scythes made of flint inlaid blades. The grain was milled into flour by stone wheels. Women were involved in pottery, textile and garment making, and played a leading role in community life. Men hunted, herded the livestock, made tools from flint, bone and stone. Of their livestock, cattle were the most important, with swine, sheep and goats playing lesser roles. The question of whether or not the horse was domesticated during this time of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture is disputed among historians. Horse remains have been found in some of their settlements, but it is unclear whether these remains were from wild horses or domesticated ones. Clay statues of females and amulets have been found dating to this period. Copper items, primarily bracelets, rings, and hooks, are occasionally found as well. A hoard of a large number of copper items a treasure, see image, was discovered in the village of Karbuna, Moldova, consisting primarily of items of jewellery, which were dated back to the beginning of the 5th millennium BC. Some historians have used this evidence to support the theory that a social stratification was present in early Kukuteni culture, but this is disputed by others. Pottery remains from this early period are very rarely discovered. The remains that have been found indicate that the ceramics were used after being fired in a kiln. The outer color of the pottery is a smoky gray, with raised and sunken relief decorations. Toward the end of this early Kukuteni Tripolia period, the pottery begins to be painted before firing. The white painting technique found on some of the pottery from this period was imported from the earlier and contemporary fifth millennium Gamelnita Karanovo culture. Historians point to this transition to kiln-fired, white-painted pottery as the turning point for when the pre-Kukuteni culture ended and Kukuteni phase or Kukuteni Tripolia culture began. Kukuteni and the neighboring Gamelnita Karanovo cultures seem to be largely contemporary. The 
Kukuteni A phase seems to be very long and covers the entire evolution of Gamelnita culture A1, A2, B2 phases maybe Topic: Middle Period 4000 BC. In the Middle Era, the Kukuteni Tripolia culture spread over a wide area from eastern Transylvania in the west to the Dnieper River in the east. During this period, the population immigrated into and settled along the banks of the upper and middle regions of the right bank or western side of the Dnieper River in present-day Ukraine. The population grew considerably during this time, resulting in settlements being established on plateaus, near major rivers and springs. Their dwellings were built by placing vertical poles in the form of circles or ovals. The construction techniques incorporated log floors covered in clay, wattle and daub walls that were woven from pliable branches and covered in clay and a clay oven, which was situated in the center of the dwelling. As the population in this area grew, more land was put under cultivation. Hunting supplemented the practice of animal husbandry of domestic livestock. Tools made of flint, rock, clay, wood and bones continued to be used for cultivation and other chores. Much less common than other materials, copper axes and other tools have been discovered that were made from ore mined in Volyn, Ukraine, as well as some deposits along the Dnieper River. Pottery making by this time had become sophisticated, however they still relied on techniques of making pottery by hand the potter's wheel was not used yet. Characteristics of the Kukuteni Tripolia pottery included a monochromic spiral design, painted with black paint on a yellow and red base. Large pear-shaped pottery for the storage of grain, dining plates and other goods, was also prevalent. Additionally, ceramic statues of female goddess figures, as well as figurines of animals and models of houses dating to this period have also been discovered. Some scholars have used the abundance of these clay female fetish statues to base the theory that this culture was matriarchal in nature. Indeed, it was partially the archaeological evidence from Kukuteni Tripolia culture that inspired Maria Gimbutas, Joseph Campbell and some latter 20th century feminists to set forth the popular theory of an old European culture of peaceful, egalitarian counter to a widespread misconception, not matriarchal, goddess-centered Neolithic European societies that were wiped out by patriarchal, sky-father-worshipping, warlike, Bronze Age Proto-Indo-European tribes that swept out of the steppes east of the Black Sea. Topic. Late period 3500-3000 BC During the late period the Kukuteni Tripolia territory expanded to include the Volan region in northwest Ukraine, the Sluch and Horan rivers in northern Ukraine and along both banks of the Dnieper River near Kiev. Members of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture who lived along the coastal regions near the Black Sea came into contact with other cultures. Animal husbandry increased in importance, as hunting diminished, horses also became more important. The community transformed into a patriarchal structure. Outlying communities were established on the Don and Volga rivers in present-day Russia. Dwellings were constructed differently from previous periods, and a new rope-like design replaced the older spiral pattern designs on the pottery. Different forms of ritual burial were developed where the deceased were interred in the ground with elaborate burial rituals. An increasingly larger number of Bronze Age artifacts originating from other lands were found as the end of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture drew near. Topic. Decline and end There is a debate among scholars regarding how the end of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture took place. According to some proponents of the Kurgan hypothesis of the origin of Proto-Indo-Europeans, and in particular the archaeologist Maria Gimbutas, in her book, Notes on the Chronology and Expansion of the Pit Grave Culture, 1961, later expanded by her and others, the Kukuteni Tripolia culture was destroyed by force. Arguing from archaeological and linguistic evidence, Gimbutas concluded that the people of the Kurgan culture a term grouping the Yamnaya culture and its predecessors of the Pontic Caspian steppe, being most likely speakers of the Proto-Indo-European language, effectively destroyed the Kukuteni Tripolia culture in a series of invasions undertaken during their expansion to the west. 
Based on this archaeological evidence Gimbutas saw distinct cultural differences between the patriarchal, warlike Kurgan culture and the more peaceful egalitarian Kukuteni Tripolia culture, which she argued was a significant component of the old European cultures, which finally met extinction in a process visible in the progressing appearance of fortified settlements, hillforts and the graves of warrior chieftains, as well as in the religious transformation from the matriarchy to patriarchy, in a correlated east-west movement. In this, the process of Indo-Europeanization was a cultural, not a physical, transformation and must be understood as a military victory in terms of successfully imposing a new administrative system, language, and religion upon the indigenous groups. Accordingly, these proponents of the Kurgan hypothesis hold that this invasion took place during the third wave of Kurgan expansion between 3000-2800 BC, permanently ending the Kukuteni Tripolia culture. In his 1989 book In Search of the Indo-Europeans, Irish-American archaeologist J. P. Mallory, summarizing the three existing theories concerning the end of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture, mentions that archaeological findings in the region indicate Kurgan i.e. Yamnaya culture settlements in the eastern part of the Kukuteni Tripolia area, co-existing for some time with those of the Kukuteni Tripolia. Artifacts from both cultures found within each of their respective archaeological settlement sites attest to an open trade in goods for a period, though he points out that the archaeological evidence clearly points to what he termed a dark age, its population seeking refuge in every direction except east. He cites evidence of the refugees having used caves, islands and hilltops abandoning in the process 600 to 700 settlements to argue for the possibility of a gradual transformation rather than an armed onslaught bringing about cultural extinction. The obvious issue with that theory is the limited common historical lifetime between the Kukuteni Tripolia BC and the Yamnaya culture BC. .Given that the earliest archaeological findings of the Yamnaya culture are located in the Volga Don Basin, not in the Dniester and Dnieper area where the cultures came in touch, while the Yamnaya culture came to its full extension in the Pontic Steppe at the earliest around 3000 BC, the time the Kukuteni Tripolia culture ended, thus indicating an extremely short survival after coming in contact with the Yamnaya culture. Another contradicting indication is that the Kurgans that replaced the traditional horizontal graves in the area now contain human remains of a fairly diversified skeletal type, approximately 10 cm taller on average than the previous population. In the 1990s and 2000s, another theory regarding the end of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture emerged based on climatic change that took place at the end of their culture's existence that is known as the Blitz Sernander sub boreal phase. Beginning around 3200 BC, the Earth's climate became colder and drier than it had ever been since the end of the last ice age, resulting in the worst drought in the history of Europe since the beginning of agriculture. The Kukuteni Tripolia culture relied primarily on farming, which would have collapsed under these climatic conditions in a scenario similar to the Dust Bowl of the American Midwest in the 1930s. According to the American Geographical Union, the transition to today's arid climate was not gradual, but occurred in two specific episodes. The first, which was less severe, occurred between 6,700 and 5,500 years ago. The second, which was brutal, lasted from 4,000 to 3,600 years ago. Summer temperatures increased sharply, and precipitation decreased, according to carbon-14 dating. According to that theory, the neighboring Yamnaya culture people were pastoralists, and were able to maintain their survival much more effectively in drought conditions. This has led some scholars to come to the conclusion that the Kukuteni Tripolia culture ended not violently, but as a matter of survival, converting their economy from agriculture to pastoralism, and becoming integrated into the Yamnaya culture. However, the Blitzernander approach as a way to identify stages of technology in Europe with specific climate periods is an oversimplification not generally accepted. A conflict with that theoretical possibility is that during the Warm Atlantic period, Denmark was occupied by Mesolithic cultures, rather than Neolithic, notwithstanding the climatic evidence. Moreover, the technology stages varied widely globally. To this must be added that the first period of the climate transformation ended 500 years before the end of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture and the second approximately 1,400 years after. Economy <inaudible> 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 Throughout the 2,750 years of its existence, the Kukuteni Tripolia culture was fairly stable and static, however, there were changes that took place. 
This article addresses some of these changes that have to do with the economic aspects. These include the basic economic conditions of the culture, the development of trade, interaction with other cultures and the apparent use of barter tokens, an early form of money. Members of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture shared common features with other Neolithic societies, including an almost non-existent social stratification, lack of a political elite, rudimentary economy, most likely a subsistence or gift economy, Pastoralists and subsistence farmers earlier societies of hunter-gatherer tribes had no social stratification, and later societies of the Bronze Age had noticeable social stratification, which saw the creation of occupational specialization. The state and social classes of individuals who were of the elite ruling or religious classes, full-time warriors and wealthy merchants, contrasted with those individuals on the other end of the economic spectrum who were poor, enslaved, and hungry. In between these two economic models the hunter-gatherer tribes and Bronze Age civilizations we find the later Neolithic and Enneolithic societies such as the Kukuteni Tripolia culture, where the first indications of social stratification began to be found. However, it would be a mistake to overemphasize the impact of social stratification in the Kukuteni Tripolia culture, since it was still even in its later phases, very much an egalitarian society. And of course, social stratification was just one of the many aspects of what is regarded as a fully established civilized society, which began to appear in the Bronze Age. Like other Neolithic societies, the Kukuteni Tripolia culture had almost no division of labor. Although this culture's settlements sometimes grew to become the largest on Earth at the time, up to 15,000 people in the largest, there is no evidence that has been discovered of labor specialization. Every household probably had members of the extended family who would work in the fields to raise crops, go to the woods to hunt game and bring back firewood, work by the river to bring back clay or fish and all of the other duties that would be needed to survive. Contrary to popular belief, the Neolithic people experienced considerable abundance of food and other resources, since every household was almost entirely self-sufficient, there was very little need for trade. However, there were certain mineral resources that, because of limitations due to distance and prevalence, did form the rudimentary foundation for a trade network that towards the end of the culture began to develop into a more complex system, as is attested to by an increasing number of artifacts from other cultures that have been dated to the latter period, toward the end of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture's existence from roughly 3000 BC to 2750 BC, copper traded from other societies notably, from the Balkans began to appear throughout the region, and members of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture began to acquire skills necessary to use it to create various items. Along with the raw copper ore, finished copper tools, hunting weapons and other artifacts were also brought in from other cultures. This marked the transition from the Neolithic to the Enneolithic, also known as the Chalcolithic or Copper Age. Bronze artifacts began to show up in archaeological sites toward the very end of the culture. The primitive trade network of this society, that had been slowly growing more complex, was supplanted by the more complex trade network of the Proto-Indo-European culture that eventually replaced the Kukuteni Tripolia culture. Topic. Diet The Kukuteni Tripolia culture was a society of subsistence farmers. Cultivating the soil, using an ard or scratch plow, harvesting crops and tending livestock was probably the main occupation for most people. Typically for a Neolithic culture, the vast majority of their diet consisted of cereal grains. They cultivated club wheat, oats, rye, prosa millet, barley and hemp, which were probably ground and baked as unleavened bread in clay ovens or on heated stones in the home. They also grew peas and beans, apricot, cherry plum and wine grapes, though there is no solid evidence that they actually made wine. There is also evidence that they may have kept bees. The zooarchaeology of Kukuteni Tripolia sites indicate that the inhabitants practiced animal husbandry. Their domesticated livestock consisted primarily of cattle, but included smaller numbers of pigs, sheep and goats. There is evidence, based on some of the surviving artistic depictions of animals from Kukuteni Tripolia sites, that the ox was employed as a draft animal. Both remains and artistic depictions of horses have been discovered at Kukuteni Tripolia sites. However, whether these finds are of domesticated or wild horses is debated. Before they were domesticated, humans hunted wild horses for meat. 
On the other hand, one hypothesis of horse domestication places it in the steppe region adjacent to the Kukuteni Tripolia culture at roughly the same time 4000 BC, so it is possible the culture was familiar with the domestic horse. At this time horses could have been kept both for meat or as a work animal. The direct evidence remains inconclusive, hunting supplemented the Kukuteni Tripolia diet. They used traps to catch their prey, as well as various weapons, including the bow and arrow, the spear and clubs. To help them in stalking game, they sometimes disguised themselves with camouflage. Remains of game species found at Kukuteni Tripolia sites include red deer, roe deer, aurochs, wild boar, fox and brown bear. Topic. Salt The earliest known salt works in the world is at Poyana Slatine, near the village of Lunca in Vanatori Nemt, Romania. It was first used in the early Neolithic, around 6050 BC, by the Starcevo culture, and later by the Kukuteni Tripolia culture in the pre Kukuteni period. Evidence from this and other sites indicates that the Kukuteni Tripolia culture extracted salt from salt laden spring water through the process of briquetage. First, the brackish water from the spring was boiled in large pottery vessels, producing a dense brine. The brine was then heated in a ceramic briquetage vessel until all moisture was evaporated, with the remaining crystallized salt adhering to the inside walls of the vessel. Then the briquetage vessel was broken open, and the salt was scraped from the shards. The provision of salt was a major logistical problem for the largest Kukuteni Tripolia settlements. As they came to rely upon cereal foods over salty meat and fish, Neolithic cultures had to incorporate supplementary sources of salt into their diet. Similarly, domestic cattle need to be provided with extra sources of salt beyond their normal diet or their milk production is reduced. Kukuteni Tripolia mega sites, with a population of likely thousands of people and animals, are estimated to have required between 36,000 and 100,000 kg of salt per year. This was not available locally, and so had to be moved in bulk from distant sources on the western Black Sea coast and in the Carpathian Mountains, probably by river. Topic. Technology and material culture The Kukuteni Tripolia culture is known by its distinctive settlements, architecture, intricately decorated pottery and anthropomorphic and zoomorphic figurines, which are preserved in archaeological remains. At its peak it was one of the most technologically advanced societies in the world at the time, developing new techniques for ceramic production, housing building, agriculture and producing woven textiles although these have not survived and are known indirectly. Topic. Settlements In terms of overall size, some of Kukuteni Tripolia sites, such as Talienki with a population of 15,000 and covering an area of 335 hectares in the province of Yuman Rayon, Ukraine, are as large as or perhaps even larger than the city-states of Sumer in the Fertile Crescent, and these Eastern European settlements predate the Sumerian cities by more than half of a millennium. Archaeologists have uncovered a large number of artifacts from these ancient ruins. The largest collections of Kukuteni Tripolia artifacts are to be found in museums in Russia, Ukraine and Romania, including the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg and the Archaeology Museum Piatra Nemt in Romania. However, smaller collections of artifacts are kept in many local museums scattered throughout the region. These settlements underwent periodical acts of destruction and recreation, as they were burned and then rebuilt every 60 to 80 years. Some scholars have theorized that the inhabitants of these settlements believed that every house symbolized an organic, almost living, entity. Each house, including its ceramic vases, ovens, figurines and innumerable objects made of perishable materials, shared the same circle of life, and all of the buildings in the settlement were physically linked together as a larger symbolic entity. As with living beings, the settlements may have been seen as also having a life cycle of death and rebirth. The houses of the Kukuteni Tripolia settlements were constructed in several general ways Wattle and Dob homes. Log homes, called Ukrainian, Plosadki translate. Ploshchadki. Semi underground homes called Borde. Some Kukuteni Tripolia homes were two stories tall, and evidence shows that the members of this culture sometimes decorated the outsides of their homes with many of the same red ochre complex swirling designs that are to be found on their pottery. Most houses had thatched roofs and wooden floors covered with clay. Topic. Pottery 
Most Kukuteni Tripolia pottery was hand coiled from local clay. Long coils of clay were placed in circles to form first the base and then the walls of the vessel. Once the desired shape and height of the finished product was built up the sides would then be smoothed to create a seamless surface. This technique was the earliest form of pottery shaping and the most common in the Neolithic, however, there is some evidence that they also used a primitive type of slow-turning potter's wheel, an innovation that did not become common in Europe until the Iron Age. Characteristically vessels were elaborately decorated with swirling patterns and intricate designs. Sometimes decorative incisions were added prior to firing, and sometimes these were filled with colored dye to produce a dimensional effect. In the early period, the colors used to decorate pottery were limited to a rusty red and white. Later, potters added additional colors to their products and experimented with more advanced ceramic techniques. The pigments used to decorate ceramics were based on iron oxide for red hues, calcium carbonate, iron magnetite and manganese jacobsite ores for black and calcium silicate for white. The black pigment, which was introduced during the later period of the culture, was a rare commodity, taken from a few sources and circulated to a limited degree throughout the region. The probable sources of these pigments were Jacobeni in Romania for the iron magnetite ore and Nicopol in Ukraine for the manganese jacobsite ore. No traces of the iron magnetite pigment mined in the easternmost limit of the Kukuteni Tripolia region have been found to be used in ceramics from the western settlements, suggesting exchange throughout the entire cultural area was limited. In addition to mineral sources, pigments derived from organic materials including bone and wood were used to create various colors. In the late period of Kukuteni Tripolia culture, kilns with a controlled atmosphere were used for pottery production. These kilns were constructed with two separate chambers the combustion chamber and the filling chamber, separated by a grate. Temperatures in the combustion chamber could reach 1000 to 1100 degrees Celsius but were usually maintained at around 900 degrees Celsius to achieve a uniform and complete firing of vessels. Toward the end of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture, as copper became more readily available, advances in ceramic technology leveled off as more emphasis was placed on developing metallurgical techniques. Topic. Ceramic figurines An anthropomorphic ceramic artifact was discovered during an archaeological dig in 1942 on Setatuya Hill near Badesti, Nemt County, Romania, which became known as the Kukuteni Frumusica Dance, after a nearby village of the same name. It was used as a supporter stand, and upon its discovery was hailed as a symbolic masterpiece of Kukuteni Tripolia culture. It is believed that the four stylized feminine silhouettes facing inward in an interlinked circle represented a hora, or ritualistic dance. Similar artifacts were later found in Baresti and Dragusini. Extant figurines excavated at the Kukuteni sites are thought to represent religious artifacts, but their meaning or use is still unknown. Some historians as Gimbutas claim that the stiff nude to be representative of death on the basis that the color white is associated with the bone that which shows after death. Stiff nudes can be found in Hamangia, Karanovo, and Kukuteni cultures. Topic. Textiles No examples of Kukuteni Tripolia textiles have yet been found. Preservation of prehistoric textiles is rare and the region does not have a suitable climate. However, impressions of textiles are found on pottery sherds because the clay was placed there before it was fired. These show that woven fabrics were common in Kukuteni Tripolia society. Finds of ceramic weights with drilled holes suggest that these were manufactured with a warp weighted loom. It has also been suggested that these weights, especially disposable examples made from poor quality clay and inadequately fired, were used to weigh down fishing nets. These would probably have been frequently lost, explaining their inferior quality. Other pottery sherds with textile impressions, found at Frumusica and Kukuteni, suggest that textiles were also knitted, specifically using a technique known as nalbinding. <laughs> <laughs> Weapons and tools Kukuteni Tripolia tools were made from napped and polished stone, organic materials bone, antler and horn, and in the later period, copper. Local Miorcani flint was the most common material for stone tools, but a number of other types are known to have been used, including chert, jasper and obsidian. Presumably these tools were hafted with wood, but this is not preserved. 
Weapons are rare but not unknown, implying the culture was relatively peaceful. The following types of tools have been discovered at Kukuteni Tripolia sites. Topic: <laughs> Wheels. Very few researchers, e.g., Asko Parpola, an Indologist at the University of Helsinki in Finland, believe that the CT culture used the wheel with wagons. However, only miniature models of animals on four wheels have been found, and they date to the first half of the 4th millennium BC. Such models are often thought to have been children's toys, nevertheless, they do convey the idea that objects could be pulled on wheels. Up to now there is no whatever evidence for wheels used with real wagons. Topic. Ritual and religion Some Kukuteni Tripolia communities have been found that contain a special building located in the center of the settlement, which archaeologists have identified as sacred sanctuaries. Artifacts have been found inside these sanctuaries, some of them having been intentionally buried in the ground within the structure, that are clearly of a religious nature, and have provided insights into some of the beliefs, and perhaps some of the rituals and structure, of the members of this society. Additionally, artifacts of an apparent religious nature have also been found within many domestic Kukuteni Tripolia homes. Many of these artifacts are clay figurines or statues. Archaeologists have identified many of these as fetishes or totems, which are believed to be imbued with powers that can help and protect the people who look after them. These Kukuteni Tripolia figurines have become known popularly as goddesses, however, this term is not necessarily accurate for all female anthropomorphic clay figurines, as the archaeological evidence suggests that different figurines were used for different purposes such as for protection, and so are not all representative of a goddess. There have been so many of these figurines discovered in Kukuteni Tripolia sites that many museums in Eastern Europe have a sizable collection of them, and as a result, they have come to represent one of the more readily identifiable visual markers of this culture to many people. The archaeologist Maria Gimbutas based at least part of her Kurgan hypothesis and old European culture theories on these Kukuteni Tripolia clay figurines. Her conclusions, which were always controversial, today are discredited by many scholars, but still there are some scholars who support her theories about how Neolithic societies were matriarchal, non-warlike, and worshipped an earthy mother goddess, but were subsequently wiped out by invasions of patriarchal Indo-European tribes who burst out of the steppes of Russia and Kazakhstan beginning around 2500 BC, and who worshipped a warlike sky god. However, Gimbuta's theories have been partially discredited by more recent discoveries and analyses. Today there are many scholars who disagree with Gimbuta's, pointing to new evidence that suggests a much more complex society during the Neolithic era than she had been accounting for. One of the unanswered questions regarding the Kukuteni Tripolia culture is the small number of artifacts associated with funerary rites. Although very large settlements have been explored by archaeologists, the evidence for mortuary activity is almost invisible. Making a distinction between the eastern Tripolia and the western Kukuteni regions of the Kukuteni Tripolia geographical area, American archaeologist Douglas W. Bailey writes, there are no Kukuteni cemeteries and the Tripolia ones that have been discovered are very late. The discovery of skulls is more frequent than other parts of the body, however because there has not yet been a comprehensive statistical survey done of all of the skeletal remains discovered at Kukuteni Tripolia sites, precise post-excavation analysis of these discoveries cannot be accurately determined at this time. Still, many questions remain concerning these issues, as well as why there seems to have been no male remains found at all. The only definite conclusion that can be drawn from archaeological evidence is that in the Kukuteni Tripolia culture, in the vast majority of cases, the bodies were not formally deposited within the settlement area. <laughs> Vinca Turda's script The mainstream academic theory is that writing first appeared during the Sumerian civilization in southern Mesopotamia, around 3300-3200 BC, in the form of the cuneiform script. This first writing system did not suddenly appear out of nowhere, but gradually developed from less stylized pictographic systems that used ideographic and mnemonic symbols that contained meaning, but did not have the linguistic flexibility of the natural language writing system that the Sumerians first conceived. These earlier symbolic systems have been labeled as proto-writing, examples of which have been discovered in a variety of places around the world, some dating back to the 7th millennium BC. 
One such early example of a proto-writing system are the Vinca symbols, which is a set of symbols depicted on clay artifacts associated with the Vinca culture, which flourished along the Danube River in the Pannonian Plain, between 6000 and 4000 BC. The first discovery of this script occurred at the archaeological site in the village of Turdas, Romania, and consisted of a collection of artifacts that had what appeared to be an unknown system of writing. In 1908, more of these same kinds of artifacts were discovered at a site near Vinca, outside the city of Belgrade, Serbia. Scholars subsequently labeled this the Vinca script or Vinca Turdas script. There is a considerable amount of controversy surrounding the Vinca script as to how old it is, as well as whether it should be considered as an actual writing system, an example of proto-writing, or just a collection of meaningful symbols. Indeed, the entire subject regarding every aspect of the Vinca script is fraught with controversy. Beginning in 1875 up to the present, archaeologists have found more than a thousand Neolithic era clay artifacts that have examples of symbols similar to the Vinca script scattered widely throughout southeastern Europe. This includes the discoveries of what appear to be barter tokens, which were used as an early form of currency. Thus it appears that the Vinca or Vinca Turdas script is not restricted to just the region around Belgrade, which is where the Vinca culture existed, but that it was spread across most of southeastern Europe, and was used throughout the geographical region of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture. As a result of this widespread use of this set of symbolic representations, historian Marco Merlini has suggested that it be given a name other than the Vinca script, since this implies that it was only used among the Vinca culture around the Pannonian Plain, at the very western edge of the extensive area where examples of this symbolic system have been discovered. Merlini has proposed naming this system the Danube script, which some scholars have begun to accept. However, even this name change would not be extensive enough, since it does not cover the region in Ukraine, as well as the Balkans, where examples of these symbols are also found. Whatever name is used, however, Vinca script, Vinca Turdas script, Vinca symbols, Danube script, or Old European script, it is likely that it is the same system. <laughs> Archaeogenetics Nikitin analyzed mtDNA recovered from Kukuteni Tripolia human osteological remains found in the Vertiba Cave on the bank of the Seret River, Ternopil Oblast, Ukraine. It revealed that seven of the individuals whose remains were analyzed belonged to, two to haplogroup HV XH, two to haplogroup H, one to haplogroup R0 XHV, one to haplogroup J and one to haplogroup T4, the latter also being the oldest sample of the set. The authors conclude that the population living around Vertiba Cave was fairly heterogeneous, but that the wide chronological age of the specimens might indicate that the heterogeneity might have been due to natural population flow during this time frame. The authors also link the R0 XHV and HV XH haplogroups with European Paleolithic populations, and consider the T4 and J haplogroups as hallmarks of Neolithic demic intrusions from the southeast, the North Pontic region, rather than from the west, i.e. the linear pottery culture. A 2017 ancient DNA study found evidence of genetic contact between the Kukuteni Tripolia culture and steppe populations from the east from as early as 3600 BCE, well before the influx of steppe ancestry into Europe associated with the Yamnaya culture. See also Barter tokens of the Kukuteni Tripolia culture Chalcolithic Europe Copper Age Dnieper Donetsk culture History of Ukraine Kvalinsk culture Linear pottery culture Nebolivka archaeological site Neolithic Europe Prehistoric Romania Prehistory of Southeastern Europe Proto-Indo-Europeans Samara culture Srednistog culture Vinca culture Yamnaya culture Notes Bibliography <inaudible> 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 English Bailey, Douglas Whitfield, Prehistoric Figurines, Representation and Corporeality in the Neolithic. London, New York, Routledge, 2005. ISBN 0-415-33151-XOCLC 56686499 
Bailey, Douglas Whitfield, Whittle, Alasdair W. R., Cummings, Vicky, E. D. S., Un. Settling the Neolithic. Oxford, Oxbow, 2005. ISBN 1-84217-179-8 OCLC 6247237-8 Bartle, Brad. Cultural Associations and Mechanisms of Change in Anthropomorphic Figurines During the Neolithic in the Eastern Mediterranean Basin. World Archaeology 13, No. 1 1981, pp. 73–86. Abingdon, UK, Routledge Journals ISSN 0043-8243 OCLC 2243103 Chapman, John Fragmentation in Archaeology, People, Places, and Broken Objects in the Prehistory of Southeastern Europe. London, Routledge, 2000. ISBN 0-415-15803-6 OCLC 4188618 CIUK, Krzysztof, ed. Mysteries of Ancient Ukraine, The Remarkable Tripillion Sick Culture, 5400-2700 BC. Toronto, Royal Ontario Museum, 2008. ISBN 978-0-88854-465-0 OCLC 2671244474. Drosovian, Florian, Popovici, Dragomir, Alamorianu, Alidandru, Wolschleger, Manuela, Chame, Jacques, van der Wielen van Omeren, Frederick. Neolithic Art in Romania. Catalogue for the exhibition held at the Historisches Museum in Olten, Switzerland, June 3 to October 5, 2008, Naples, Italy, Artem, 2008. ISBN 978 88 569 0001 9 OCLC 2602244420. Ellis, Linda. The Kukuteni Tripoli Culture Study in Technology and the Origins of Complex Society. Volume 217 of the Bar International Series, British Archaeological Reports, BAR, Oxford, 1984. ISBN 0-86054-279-3 OCLC 1138572-2. Lazarevici, Cornelia Magda. Ne Mantu. Anthropomorphic statuettes from Kukuteni Tripoli: Some signs and symbols. Documenta Prehistorica 32, 2005, pp. 145-154. Ljubljana, Slovenia, University of Ljubljana ISSN 1408-967 XOCLC 442196598 Mackay, Janos. Early Stamp Seals in Southeast Europe. Budapest, Akademiai Kiado, 1984. ISBN 963-05-3424-X OCLC 11436956 Mallory, James P. Tripoli Culture. Encyclopedia of Indo-European Culture, J. P. Mallory and D. Q. Adams eds, Chicago, Fitzroy Dearborn, 1997. ISBN 1-884964-98-2 OCLC 37931209 Mantu, Cornelia Magda, Dumitroea, Gheorghe, Saravopoulos, Aris, eds. Kukuteni, The Last Great Chalcolithic Civilization of Europe. Catalogue of an exhibit co-hosted by the Romanian Ministry of Culture, the Romanian Academy and the Hellenic Ministry of Culture, held at the Archaeological Museum of Thessaloniki, 21 September to 31 December 1997 The English version of the catalogue by Bogdan Stefanescu, Athena, Greece, Hyporgeo Politismu, 1997. ISBN 973-98191-6-8 OCLC 4801-66927 Renfrew, Colin. Problems in European Prehistory, a collection of 18 papers, each with a new introduction and bibliography, and an original introductory essay. Edinburgh, Edinburgh University Press, 1979. ISBN 0 85224 OCLC 6092588. Skeets, Robin. Neolithic Stamps, Cultural Patterns, Processes and Potencies. Cambridge Archaeological Journal 17, No. 2, 2007, pp. 183-198. 
ISSN 1474-0540 OCLC 4847793 DOI 10.1017/s0959774307002400 Taylor, Timothy. Aspects of Settlement Diversity and Its Classification in Southeast Europe Before the Roman Period. World Archaeology 19, No. 1 pp. 1–22. Abingdon, UK, Routledge Journals ISSN 0043-8243 OCLC 2243103 The Tripoli Culture Giant Settlements in Ukraine. Formation, Development and Decline. F. Minotti, A. Corvin Piotrowski ed., Oxford, Oxbow Books, 2012 Sherat, Andrew. Economy and Society in Prehistoric Europe, Changing Perspectives. Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press, 1997. ISBN 0-691-01697-6 OCLC 3669-5149 Stratulat, Lacrimiora, ed. Cucuteni Trippia, A Great Civilization of Old Europe, Palazzo della Cancellaria, Rome Vatican, 16 September to 31 October 2008. Catalogue for an exhibit held at the Palazzo della Cancellaria Museum in Vatican City from 16 September to 31 October 2008, Palazzo della Cancellaria, Rome Vatican, 2008. ISBN 978-973-0-05830-7 OCLC 4812215360 Mikhailo Videko Ukraine, From Tripolia to Rus. Kiev, Kryon, 2010 Whittle, Alistair W.R., Europe in the Neolithic, The Creation of New Worlds. Part of the Cambridge World Archaeology Series Revised Edition of Neolithic Europe, 1985, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1996. ISBN 0-521-44476-4 OCLC 32510827 Wilson, Andrew. The Ukrainians, Unexpected Nation. New Haven, Yale University Press, 2000. ISBN 0 300 08355 6 OCLC 4398 French Chapman, John, Dumitroea, Gheorghe, Weller, Olivier, et al., eds. Cucuteni, 120 ans de recherches. Le temps du bilan equals 120 years of research, time to sum up. Volume 16 of the Bibliotheca Memoriae Antiquitatis series papers originally presented at a conference co-hosted by the Cucuteni Culture International Research Center in Piatra Nemt, and the Institute of Archaeology in Iasi, on October 21-24, 2004 in Piatra Nemt, Romania, Piatra Nemt, Romania, Constantine Matasha, 2005. ISBN 973-7777-02-6 OCLC 2434731-52 German Schmidt, Hubert. Kukuteni in der Oberen Moldau, Rumanian, die befestigte Siedlung mit bemalter Keramik von der Steinkupferzeit bis in die Wallentwickelt Bronzezeit. Berlin Leipzig, W. de Gruder, 1932. OCLC 4942033 Romanian Dumitrescu, V. Arta Culturi Cucuteni. Bucharesti, Editora Meridian, 1979 Biblioteca Antiquitatis, the first Cucuteni Museum of Romania Photon, 2005 Studia Antiqua et Archaeologica, Ix, Iasi, 2003 The Human Bone with Possible Marks of Human Teeth Found at Livini Site Cucuteni Culture, Sergiu Haimovici Marius Alexianu, Gheorghe Dumitroea and Dan Mana, The Exploitation of the Salt Water Sources in Moldavia, An Ethno-Archaeological Approach, in EDS, D. Mana, G. H. Dumitroea, O. Weller et J. Chapman, L'exploitation du sel à travers le temps, BMA, 18, Piatra Neamt, 2007, pp. 279-298. Kukos, Stefan, 1999. Faza Kukuteni B in zona subcarpatica a Moldove, Kukuteni B period in the lower Carpathian region of Moldova. BMA, Biblioteca Memoriae Antiquitatis Memorial Library Antiquities. Piatra Nemt, Romania, Mazeul de Istori Piatra Nemt Piatra Nemt Museum of History, 6. 
OCLC 223302267, Russian Ariologia Ukrainskij SSR Kiev 1985, T.1 Bibikov S. Ranitropolsko Poseleni Luka Vrublevetska na Dnestra Mia 38. MP 1953. Zabenovich V. G. Poznatropolski Plemena Severnogo Prysernomora and Usser. Na K. Nauk Dumka 1974. Zabenovich V. G. Ranij Atap Tripolskij Kulturi na Territori Ukrainian Usser Ia K. Nauk Dumka 1989. Kruk V. A. Poznatropolski Plemena Srednego Ponoprova Kiev Nakava Dumka 1977. Markovich V. I. Poznatropolski Plemena Severnoj Moldavi Kisinov Stienka 1981. Pasik T. Rana Zemladelseski Tripolski Plemena Podnestrova Mia N. 84. Moskva 1961. Pasik T. Periodizatia Tripolski Poselenij. Mia N. 10. MP 1949. Rybakov B. A. Kosmogonia i Mifologia Zemladelsev Enolita Sovetska Ariologia 1965, 1 2. Rindina N. V. Drevnej C. Metalubrabatavazi Proizvodstivio Vostoknoj Evropi M. 1971. Havoiko V. Kamenij Vek Srednego Ponoprova Trudi Odinadkatago Archaeologicoskogo Sezda V. Kiev I. Kiev 1901. Tripleska Kultura V. Ukraine. Poseleni Gigant Talonki Kiev 2008 Cerny's EKK I Story Nasalinia Enolitikoskogo Vremeni V Srednum Pridnestrov Neolit I Enolit Yuga Evropeskij Kasti Sesser Moskva 1962. Cerny's EK Enolit Pravabereznoj Ukraini I Moldavi Enolit Sesser M 1982. S 166-347, Ukrainian Bibikov S. Tripolskakult Ariologia Ukrainskoy RSRT. I. Kiv 1971. Doslidzena Tripolskoy Civilizatia U. Nakovich Spadsini Ariologa Vikinsha Vajki Kiv Akademperiodika 2007. Kastini I. E. Dudkin V. P. Vidiko M. U. Architectura Tripolskoy Civilizatia Vid Poslin Duprotomus Kiv Mislin Drivo 2009. Encyclopedia Tripolskoy Civilization Kiv Ukrpolograph Media 2004. I.E. Zaharuk U. Piznij Etap Tripolskoy Kultori. Ariologia Ukrainskoy RSRT. I. Kiv 1971. Pasternaka Ariologia Ukraini. Toronto 1961. Kachik TM Semiotiknij Analis Tripolsko Kukatensky Zinakova System Malovanij Posid Kachik TM Melnik AG Nationalnij Zapovidnik. Davnij Galik. Prikarpotskij un Tim. V. Stefanika Ivano Frankisk Plage 2000. Tripolska Kultura T. I. and Ursur Institute Ariology. Kiv 1940. Sveko V. Poselena Shidno Tripolskoy Kultori Karatkij Naris Kiv 2006. Cernis K. Rano Tripolski Poselena Lenkivci na Serednomu Dinistri. An Ursur Institute Ariology. Kiv 1959. Topic. External links 1. An interesting six-minute video on an exhibition in Rome, Cucuteni Tripolia, a great civilization of old Europe, with dialogue in English. Cucuteni Culture The French government's Ministry of Culture's page on Cucuteni Culture in English. Cucuteni Culture The Romanian Dacian Museum page on Cucuteni Culture in English. Tripolian Culture from Ukraine A page from the UK-based group, Aratagar, about Kukuteni Tripolia culture, which has many great photographs of the group's trip to the Tripolian Museum in Tripolia, Ukraine in English. The Institute of Archaeomythology The homepage for the Institute of Archaeomythology, an international organization of scholars dedicated to fostering an interdisciplinary approach to cultural research with particular emphasis on the beliefs, rituals, social structure and symbolism of ancient societies. Much of their focus covers topics that relate to the Kukuteni Tripolia culture in English. The Vadasra Village Project A Living History Museum in Romania, supported by many international institutions. National Museum of Romanian History in Bucharest. Their website is in Romanian. National History Museum of Moldova in Chisinau.
The Lost World of Old Europe, the Danube Valley, 5000-3500 BC An exhibit at the Institute for the Study of the Ancient World in New York City, from November 10, 2009 to April 25, 2010. 360 virtual tour of Cucuteni Museum from Piatra Neamt in Romanian. 